In this video, we'll learn to interpret plans and elevations of simple 3D shapes. So we'll start with a cube, then we'll look at a cuboid, a prism, square base pyramid, triangular base pyramid, and a cylinder. So starting with a cube, what does plan mean? And what does elevation mean? So plan is whatever you see from the top of the shape. So this is the plan view of a cube. And what you can see at the top is just a square and that's what we're going to draw here as the plan the elevations we have the front elevations so whatever you can see at the front and the side elevations as well so whatever you can see on the side so let's start with the plan so I'm going to draw a square but I need to measure the dimensions of the cube so we've got five centimeters by five centimeters so we'll start right here. So we've got the plan and looking at the front, this is identical and it's the same measurements because as we know, a cube has six faces of the same size. So we'll do the same here for the front elevation and for the side elevation as well so as you can see these look identical we'll now move to the cuboid so during the plan first what we can see from the top is a rectangle i measured the dimensions and it's seven by four centimeters these are all right angles 90 degree angles so I've got the plan here in terms of the front elevation it's going to be identical because this face is identical to this one for this cuboid so I'll do the same thing over here the side elevation however is not identical we've got four centimeters by four centimeters so a square that is four centimeters wide and four centimeters long. Then we have the side elevation of the cuboid. So we'll now look at the prism. From the top, what we can see is a rectangle which has a line through in the middle. So we'll measure the dimensions. I've checked this out and it's seven centimeters by 6.4. So we'll draw the rectangle first now the line goes in the middle so this was 6.4 so 3.2 is halfway through 3.2 on the other side as well join these two dots and then we have the line in the middle as well so this is the plan now we'll look at the front elevation so at the front, we just see a rectangle. However, we need to be careful to not just measure these dimensions because this is not the real height of the prism. The height of the prism could be measured here. So that's what we're gonna use. This is the length so we can use that. And it was seven centimeters, as we said earlier. Now, this is gonna be this is 5.5, .5. so we'll leave a gap, and this is done, so we can call this the front elevation. And we'll now look at the side elevation as well. As you can see, it's a triangle, so we'll get the base. We'll measure the base, which is 6.4, and we know that this is 5.5. .5. So we'll start with the base. And we'll halfway through this, so this is 6.4, 3.2, we'll draw a perpendicular line. 
which you can use a ruler to help you with but also the graph paper helps so this line needs to be 5.5 centimeters long so 5.5 is right here so this is where we're going to need to stop and we'll use these points to make the triangle So I need to get rid of this line in the middle now and we've got the side elevation as well for the prism. Now we'll draw the plan and elevations of a square base pyramid. So starting with the plan, what we can see is a square and we have these diagonal lines going across. So we'll measure the dimensions of the base. So we're talking about 6.6 .6 centimeters. And it's a square, so the other side will be 6.6. .6. We need to draw the lines on the top. So this is what I'm going to do. And there we have the plan. Now we'll look at the front elevation. So we've got a triangle that we need to draw so I can measure the base, which was 6.6 .6 anyway. And we need to make sure to not measure this because this is slanted height. We've got to measure the, the real height of the pyramid. At this level, you're not required to know how to work this out. So I'll give the measurement to you. And it's about eight centimeters. So this is the front elevation. And the side elevation, in fact, will be identical. This is the case with the square base pyramid so we'll draw another one that is identical to this another triangle so here we have the side elevation as well now we we'll look at a triangular based pyramid the process for the triangular based pyramid is very similar to the square based one so the only difference is that we've got a triangle as the base as well so we're going to have to draw a triangle which is going to look like this so we'll take the measurements of the base and it is 9.6 and the height so somewhere in the middle 9.6 Halfway through is 4.8, so about here is the point where we're going to measure the height, which is 8.5. Getting rid of this line in the middle. Now, so this is the base and it does match the shape. Now we'll look at the front elevation and the side elevation, which will be identical. For the front elevation, again, we've got the base, the length of the base, and we put the height. So the height, in fact, we cannot measure the height of the pyramid. We cannot measure over here. It's got to be inside. So you don't be able to do this at this level. So I'll give it to you. It's about eight centimeters. So we'll make this about eight centimeters high. So I've put these together. The front and the side ones look identical because the height is the same. Whereas the plan, the triangle for the plan is not of the same height as you can see. And that is perfectly fine. 
So looking at the cylinder, all we can see from the top is a rectangle. So I've measured the dimensions of this beforehand and it's about 10.5 centimeters long and about five centimeters wide. So I'll draw that. So we've got the plan. In terms of the front elevation, it is identical to the plan, as you can see. So we'll draw an identical rectangle over here. In terms of the side elevation, as you can see, there is a circle here. So we're going to have to draw a circle. And I've given you the dimensions, which was five centimeters from this point to this point. We call this the diameter. So the radius must be 2.5 centimeters. Now you're not required to do this at this level. However, it's good to, good to know. So 2.5. And I'll put a dot for the center. So this has to stay still. So there we have the side elevation. At level one, you're not likely to be asked to draw plans and elevations, but I drew them for you so that you can see what they are. So hopefully this is going to help us interpret them now. So if I show you this, what kind of shape would you think this is? So thinking of the 3D shapes. And we've got a plan, which is a rectangle. We've got a front elevation, which is also identical. And rectangles, we've said we've got in cuboids. And the side is a square as well. So this is a cuboid. Looking at the next one, we've got square, square, square. Plan, the front and the sides are squares. So this is a cube and looking at this it looks like a rectangle at the top but it has a line across so that was the shape that we looked at earlier and it's the prism and the side is a rectangle so that confirms it's a prism and Triangles all the way, triangles at the base, triangle on the side, triangle on the front. This shows that this is a triangular base pyramid. And looking at this one, it's a square at the base. We can see diagonal lines at the top. And at the front, we can see triangles. On the side, we can see triangles. So this must be a square-based pyramid. And we've got a rectangle from the top. We've got a rectangle at the front. There is a circle on the side. So the only one with a circle that we looked at was a cylinder.